So around there. No, no soy de Google Maps, no. I see. Hola amigos, que tal? Stuart here from Spain Speaks and welcome to another small town Spain video. We're going to have a look a walk around this town here, which uh, as we can see here is called Drieves and it's in Guadalajara, very close to the border with Madrid. In fact, uh, only seven or eight kilometers uh, separate the last town in Madrid with this town here. So we're going to check out if there is a difference between the two autonomous communities, Madrid and Guadalajara, and uh, let's go and check out this city now. So let's go. So this is the view from the outskirts. We'll uh, walk over here and have a look at this sign because we can see here that you're getting warned that there might be cows on the road but somebody has stuck some horns on that sign because I imagine bullfighting is popular here. Here comes a tractor, so let's walk in to the center of this little town here. Let's go and check out what's going on. And we'll walk up this street here and find our way to the main square. Up the hill we go. Always walking up a hill in these towns, always. So, the first thing that I can see is a new building on the right, an abandoned building on the left side of the street. People that have packed up and moved away. Number 28, vacant I would say. Let's continue. Graffiti. So even in a small town like this, 500 people, not even graffiti. Party, party. So there we go, spider on the door and more graffiti over here. Ivan Fete. So obviously kids responsible for this graffiti. All right. What do we got over here? War murals. Diogenes, and uh, another one here, not sure what that's of, but let's walk up here, and I think this will take us into the main part of the town, let's see, so what have we got going on, Casa de Cultura, Aurelio Pérez, down there, what have we got here? Dreves en tus manos, utiliza la papelera. So I'm telling people to use the rubbish bins or the litter bins, which are no doubt all around the town. Now I've been here about 10 minutes, and I've seen one person. Another person up there. And this is a village that has, as I said, already had its heyday. Not sure when it was, but I imagine a long time ago. So what do we got over here? Let's have a look. Post box. Ayuntamiento. So this is the main town square here. And again, as we can see, we've got a Caixa Bank ATM. Now the population, I'm not sure. I read somewhere it was 300, somewhere else said 400. So around there. No, no, soy de Google Maps, no. Ah, sí. No, estoy haciendo videos. Para un canal de YouTube de toda la zona esta de Guadalajara, Madrid y todo esto, para mi propio interés, básicamente. Ah, para algo personal de ustedes. Algo personal, sí. Con estos pueblos que son muy pequeñitos. ¿La población aquí? ¿Por qué no puede ir? 345. Sí. ¿Y también es un sitio donde viene un bus para hacer banking, para hacer cosas de banca y todo esto cada X tiempo, como he visto en otros, o no? No, no, aquí viene, que vengan es Bibliobús. Ah, solo. Bibliobús, no, Esos son aquí. los servicios que hay, sí, ¿no? Sí, los servicios que hay vienen en Bibliobús. Vale, sí. muy bien, muy bien. Muchas gracias. Nada, disfrute, venga. Hasta luego. 
Okay, let's continue. Just had a chat there with the deputy mayor of the town. And he told me that the population is 300 and something. Peña La Trainera. There we go. Calle del Cuchillo. And I imagine this is the, the church. I'm not sure. I think it is. Because we've got the town hall building over there. The church here. And I asked myself the question, with 350 people, which is what this town has, people work in agriculture, can't see any schools. The deputy mayor was in his 60s, I would say. So I imagine that would be the average age of this town as well. And uh, not a lot going on. Even in the main square, two, three people max. Olive tree, bang smack in the middle of this uh, street here. I reckon that's a fairly old olive tree. Not sure exactly how old it would be, but we can see that there are some olives on it. And I imagine locals come and pick the olives from time to time. Now I just heard a child screaming. So there might be a school or some type of youth center around here, not sure. Lots of street art. Let's go and check out the street art. What do we got here? The first question that the vice mayor or the deputy mayor asked me was if I'm Google Maps. I said no. I'm just filming for my own interest and for the interest of the viewers on YouTube, of course. But lots of street art here. So people have taken the time to paint these war murals. Interesting. And this person here obviously left his tag. One of the local artists, no doubt. And this one was done in 2012, I believe. This place is for sale. And we've got another mural down here, which does give a little bit of color to an otherwise dull town. We can see the typical architecture. Not much going on from an architectural point of view. And here we've got this one here, I think, painted in 2023. Two fingers touching. Obviously some type of symbolic mural. All right, what have we got over here? Another house that has seen better days. Look at the door. So this would have been the door back in the day. And if I use this for comparison, I'm around six foot tall, 5'11", six foot. So I would have had to have ducked every time I wanted to go into this house here, which looking through there is also very small. So it gives you an idea of the average height back in the day here in Spain, if you've got doorways like this one here. What else we got going on down here? More wall art. Let's go down here and check it out because the other ones were quite interesting. Let's see if this one is also interesting. And then we'll chuck a left and go back up to the, to the center of the town. All right, what's this one here? Some type of monster. There we go. Drying Art, Drieves, Ruranos, 2020. So this one going back to 2020. Okay. Tobacco shop, but closed. Uh-huh. Now there's some more murals up here. So every street seems to have murals. And I don't know if this is an initiative from the town hall. If I go back into the town hall area and see the deputy mayor, I'll ask him. Now here we've got a restaurant, the Sandro Restaurante Asador, Menu Diario, Carta, Comidas de Empresa. Now again, I don't know if it's open. Let's go and check it out. Let's go and see if it's open. 
this restaurant because I'm curious to see in a town with 300 and something people if a restaurant is open on a daily basis with a daily menu. I don't know. Let's have a look. Maybe so. No. Closed. I'm not sure even if it's open still or whether it's closed for good. There's somebody up here, maybe I can ask him. Disculpe, señor. El restaurante aquí está cerrado. No, están pasando de TV. Tiene un trato y está pasando de TV hoy. Ah, pero normalmente abre. Sí, todos los días. Todos los días. Muy bien, muy bien. Gracias. Okay, more wall art over there. So the restaurant's closed today because the guy's doing his ITV, his MOT, getting his car checked, making sure that it's roadworthy. So the restaurant today is closed, or so that gentleman said. Bus stop. Sigimos. More wall art here. What have we got going on here? So this is a standout in this town, I will say. The wall art, the wall murals, veterinary service, little dog over there, well behaved, veterinary service, yes, yeah, so rural area, this would be one of the most dynamic businesses I would say, dog food, rabbit food, other types of food there, another wall mural, again, so they've been busy. Not sure if they got paid to paint them or whether they're just volunteers. Got no idea. But uh, it is pleasant to see this art on the walls here because it brightens up an otherwise dull place. More there. All right, so let's continue. I suppose that if you've got some young people that are looking for things to do. Instead of painting ugly graffiti, they paint a mural a lot more attractive. I, I'm sure there'd be a lot. And I'm sure they'd be a lot prouder of their work. All right, what do we got here? With the economic support of the Guadalajara government, this statue here. All right, there's a school over there, so there is some youth here. Another mural over there. There doesn't look to be many kids in the school, I will say that. Then again, if you've got a town of 350 people, how many school age kids would there be? Plaza de Arroyo. All right, more street art up here. Let's go and have a look. In fact, there's plenty of street art here. Let's go and have a look. So this one here on the right. Again, some type of warlike symbol. And on this side here, again, I imagine this is the pictures of the town. Don't know. And there's the town end up there. Not a very big place. And again, no trees. We've had a few comments in recent times about the lack of trees in these towns. Don't know what the reason is. Maybe trees are an inconvenience. Maybe it's too much hassle for the local council to have to look after them. Got no idea but there are no trees, except in people's gardens and that olive tree that we saw before. And there's another olive tree over there. So that's what we've got. All right. Almost coming to an end, this tour. As no doubt, I'll be back in the main square in just the tick. Can't see any more wall art. Let's go down here and see what we've got. So this place here is for sale. Not sure what the price would be. Another place here for sale also. 
So if you wanted a, a weekend getaway from Madrid, this could be the town for you. More up there. Interesting. And more over there as well. On these uh, walls that surround these empty plots. So there's nothing in there. That one was also for sale. What else we've got? Calle del Arroyo. We saw that one before. Curtains. Bottle of water there. I think that's for dogs. I think we worked that one out. But you've got the water bottles there to try and deter dogs from urinating on your steps. And here we are back at the Casa de Cultura. So an interesting little town, Drieves, Guadalajara. And there's the local medical center, Consultorio Local. Again, it is closed. So obviously not opening every day. What are the opening hours? Let's have a look. Doesn't really say, but anyway, let's continue. So an interesting little town here in Guadalajara, and uh, I will say that the uh, wall art has uh, made my day today. Here we go, Atletico de Madrid. This is obviously some type of supporters club. More murals here. So these are everywhere, these murals. Not sure what the situation is, who painted them, who paid for them, or whether they're just volunteers. All right, now this is the Plaza del Pueblo, I think, where all the action happens. We've got a taberna, discoteca over there, nightclub, and I imagine that this is where the young people gather and other people gather in the afternoons or at weekends when people come back to their town because most likely they're living and working in a bigger city, which is the case nowadays. More street art, colorful rubbish bins. We'll go over here and we'll see if we can get a view of the surrounding area. I think this is a dead end street. So we'll just have a, a look at the views. And as we were told by the mayor before, this is agricultural lands and we can see down there farmers in action with their tractors. So I wonder who the architect was that designed this building here, not making it easy to get in or out of this building here as we can see. So, time to wrap this video tour up of Drieves here in Guadalajara on the border with Madrid. So it's not in the center of Guadalajara as I have been in recent times. I've traveled to more central parts of Guadalajara. This one here on the border. Questions and comments, please leave them in the section below. Uh, let us know what you think of these small towns in that comment section below. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. I'll see you in the next one. Hasta luego from Drieves, Guadalajara, Spain.